Hello and welcome to a pure first impressions of Deepest Chamber. This is a deck building game with roguelike elements set in a fantasy world where peril lurks at every step. And as you can see, the art style is very unique. And I believe that you're going to be entering a world that is primarily 3D. So we're going to see exactly what is going on with it. If you'd like to check it out, then there is a link in the description. I believe this is available as a free demo in the Steam Game Fest. And uh, we're also going to uh, begin the game right now. So let's see what happens. Years ago, on a calm still night, the people of Dorman slept. A blinding light erupted from the tallest tower. Within moments, it surrounded the entire city. The glowing dome heated up stone and metal. With the flames came a suffocating smoke. The king decided to move the whole city underground. Years passed by, thousands perish, law and order long forgotten. Somewhere deep below, the curse of undeath is released. To this day, the king and his royal guards desperately seek a solution. Enter the name of your party. All right, so this gives me huge Legend of Grimrock vibes right now, because in that game, you are basically prisoners, and you have to wander around um, this huge prison, basically, that is underneath the, um, underneath the uh, main surface world. And this is basically uh, a bit of a similar setting to that, but I don't think that we are actual prisoners. I don't think you can actually enter a different name at the moment. So, obviously, it's just the demo, so we're just going to be doing that. But um, this is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, so, normal run. If victorious, salvage a card and trinket to use during a quest run afterwards. All right, let's have a look. So, we could choose our paths as well. Unlock next difficulty by beating the current hardest. Okay, so, obviously, I have no modifiers right now. Let's go into the sewers, because we can't go into the catacombs or the other place yet. And as you can see, we need to go through three chambers and win to descend we have 50 hp as you can see at the top right there and we have a number of at, uh, 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 adjectives i was going to say no objectives that we need to adhere to so retaining eight block and we also have commander's blessing i don't know what that is but we're going to select one of these let's go to the bottom left one and see what we can do so you can see here look at this look at this guy is, is this uh, this looks like a 3d render to me doesn't that look like a 3d render to you i think so right anyway the citizen will gain four block and two strength, showcased by the text above it. Drag cards onto the citizen to attack it. Oh, yes. Okay, so obviously I have no idea what kind of um, energy we have right now, but we're just going to be attacking him straight away. I really love the interaction with when you pick up a card, your camera moves around like it's, like it's very much you, you know what I mean? I think that really makes a huge difference to the interactivity and the feeling of attacking, the satisfaction that you get when you actually deal some damage. Damage. Anyway, always check the status effects on enemies. Right click on all of your defend cards. Oh, that's really cool. So that basically just means use all, basically, right? Or no. No, apparently not. It just means use them, I guess. And you are able to keep eight block from round to round. Aha! Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's actually really interesting too. Enemies will play out their intents. Press end round. Okay. Yeah, so they're basically going to do something to me. Your strength is now lower, decreasing your physical damage. I don't appreciate that. Notice that the heal card has a special status on it, making it usable for only two draws. Right click on heal. That's going to use two out of the three energy that we have. The citizen intends to damage you for seven, since you still have eight block who will avoid all damage. Now that's very, very cool. Okay, so now what we can do is, because our strength is decreased, my fireball still deals the same amount of damage, which I very much like. So let's just continue doing that. Can I just right-click on these as well? No, apparently not. Okay, well, let's just take him down. I guess there's no reason not to, right? All right, there we go. So we dealt uh, damage. They tell you your records and all that wonderful stuff, and I can take four gold. There's a number of resources up here as well, as you can see. So we have red candles can be used to purchase unlocks in the collections panel. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we're going to collect a card, a sentient blade. It deals three damage. If not used, attacks a random alive enemy. Warrior cards in the hand increase damage by one. Yeah, I will definitely collect that. I don't want to skip out on that. That's for sure. 
All right, so we can actually talk to this guy by information on wh on who lurks below. So if you really want information or scouting information about what is going to attack you um, coming up, you could pay two gold to this guy, and then he'll probably tell you. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go straight on in, completely blind. All right, the leech collector. He's going to be injecting a curse card. He's going to be doing seven damage and he's also going to block by the looks of things where he has those he has the ability to do all those things all right so attacks a random alive enemy okay so basically what i'm going to do right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just attack i think i'm basically just going to attack this guy because i can do that ah i see uh other warrior cards okay yeah so i'm just going to block as well um Actually, that that was not the best idea. Probably shouldn't have done that. But we still have eight. Yeah, we still have we still have five block. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So up to eight block we are able to keep. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this and just eliminate this guy. No problem at all. He did do a block, so obviously that did reduce the amount of damage that he was taking. But uh, it's not that big a deal. But well, that's pretty good. Metal scales. Shuffle three scale cards into your hand. I have no idea what that does, but I'm very, very interested in finding out. And now we'll continue on to the next one. Ooh, okay, so here we go. We've got a bit of a healer archetype here. Use metal scales to increase the damage of sentient blade. Oh. Okay. Gain two block. Oh, because this is a warrior card. And sentient blade gets buffed by how many warrior cards you have in your hand. That's actually really, really nice. So we're just going to... Oh. I made a mistake. Okay. Yes, I made a pretty significant mistake right there. Okay, yeah. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of damage. That was a huge error on my part. I should have attacked the lamplighter. I did not read what Holy Shield does. Holy Shield, as you can see... It basically just protects this guy, and it makes it very difficult for me to take him down. Okay, so that's obviously a bit of a problem. Okay, so these guys are not going to do anything to me. I'm just going to attack with Fireball. I should have just eliminated the Lamplighter way, way, way sooner. But obviously, didn't read, so failed, obviously. Let's kill the Lamplighter. This guy's going to try and heal the other fellow, which is obviously not going to work. Thank you very much. So we're just going to try and take out the Friar now. Can he? <gasps> he can bring him back to life. Are you serious? Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So let's... Um, I don't even know what to do right now. I guess we can shuffle more, uh, more cards into our hand. And I'm just going to play a bunch just so that I don't take any damage. Sentient Blade did some pretty decent damage right there, and we're just going to eliminate him. Wow. I'm actually really surprised that that guy was able to revive his friend. That's actually super, super interesting, because that basically means that if any unit is queuing up some kind of heal, you're going to have to plan ahead and see what's actually going on with that. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we got Counterspell. This forces a two-round cooldown on the current intent. That's pretty fantastic. So I really like that. That's going to mean that we can basically stop pretty much anything that we don't want to go through and we're gonna we're gonna collect the trinket because we conquered the floor apparently every time you exhaust a card receive three healing okay sure i'll definitely take that thank you and let's go down to the next floor what's this guy i don't hurt they don't hurt me well uh thank you <laughs> i guess thank you very much all right so damage reduced by 30 percent if you get a po yeah, so you get a potion for completing this. Damage reduced by 30%. Extra gold. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so these are challenge rooms. These are challenge rooms which reduce your damage by 30%. I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm actually just going to go to one of the normal ones. Oh, dear. Okay, this might be problematic. The crystal glass trinket with he will heal you when using cards which exhaust. In other words, the trinket that I just got is going to heal me whenever I use scale. So as you can see right here, yeah, thank you. I, I already know about that. Thank you very much. So we're going to try and do that. Right click on all of your scale cards 
to activate it. So as you can see, I'm now healing myself at the same time as giving myself block, which is actually amazing. I love that. Okay, and this guy is going to be reflecting the first damage to its attack. Uh, to its attacker. So that's obviously something that we don't really want to do right now. So I'm basically just going to go for one fireball and then a block. Because he's going to attack me for seven. There we go. And now we can technically, if we want to, do a counter spell. I don't know whether that's actually worth it right now. Because he's going to just inject a curse card for the chamber's duration. You see, that's not even that big a deal. But I might want to do it just because it's kind of annoying. I would actually like to do this though. Because I don't really want to get weakened. So I'm thinking we'll probably just use this against him. And then we'll counter spell that. And then we'll just end the round. So he's actually going to attack me right there. Not a big fan of that. Thank you very much. Okay, let's counterspell that as well. So he's going to do nothing. We can counterspell twice. That's really hilarious. Okay. And now I am going to... If remains in hand, suffer one damage at the end of your turn. Can I not... Can I... Oh, okay. Well, let's just eliminate him with the sentient blade then, and then we'll just do some damage otherwise. Okay, Fireball's going to take care of this guy really, really easily. And there you go. Not too bad. Okay, so let's get some more gold, and we will... Ah, here we go. Now we've got an actual choice right here. Okay, so... Holy Devour negates the next debuff and grants Holy Shield. That's actually kind of insane. Absorbs every kind of damage. Costs one extra energy on every odd usage. Hmm. Okay, that might be a little bit problematic. Hmm. Un uncontrollable force. It has a char it has three charges. Deals nine to twelve damage. Each usage reduces its power. When drawn, damage all enemies for one. And we have this. This removes seventy percent. Of the target's block. I'm actually going to take that. I think that's the most useful one. So I'm probably going to take that. And that seems seems pretty amusing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wow. I, I got to say, I feel like this game is really, really cool. In the way that it actually shows itself. I feel like the aesthetic and the graphic style is really appealing. I mean, obviously, it's extremely dark and very morbid. And uh, kind of horror-esque, almost. But I... Uh, I like that. I feel like it has a really nice, really nice look to it. Okay. Well, let's have a look. What else can I do here? Well, we can play this. And then we'll just play a bunch just to heal myself a little bit. And then we can do... What's the lullaby? What's that? Heals for a small amount every round. Not a big fan of that, but I can't really do much about it, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just do damage. Undying? Can only be killed by this damage. Are you serious? Oh dear. Gonna have to kill this guy really, really quickly. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I think I might have walked into something that I possibly couldn't defeat. We'll see. I'm going to counterspell this. And then two fireballs. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Thank you. Hmm. Disable random trinket. Not a big fan of that, to be honest. Can I kill this guy, though? That's the thing. Can I kill this guy before... Yes, I can. Whew, that was lucky. I, if I'd done four damage right there, then we would have had a problem. Unfortunately, this is going to use Lullaby on the corpse, and that is going to enable it to potentially get back up, which would not be too good. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it is going to get back up, but that is not... Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, this is, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, I'm going to just try to block. That's all I can do. Select a card to exhaust for the chamber's duration. Okay, uh, heal. Because metal scales are too good to give up, in my opinion. Alright, let's just do slash. That's not going to do anything. There we 
go. Take out that guy. And let's do some more damage. Unfortunately, she is going to hit like a truck, but thankfully I have eight block already. So that's only going to do... That's It's going to do zero. It's basically going to do zero, so that's really nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Metal Scales to buff up Sentient Blade as much as I possibly can. And Oh, actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just play Fireball. Boom. Because she needs to be killed by magic damage. Otherwise, she cannot die. So that's really, really interesting as well. Okay, so Cleave. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. That seems pretty nice. Reflexes. Choose one of your less than 3 energy cards still in play. Put it into your hand. Wow, it will cost 0 energy for 3 rounds. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to go for Cleave though. I think Cleave is so incredibly useful. I'm going to go for the extra gold in this next chamber right here. Okay, now bear in mind that I'm weakened, so I do even less damage. And Cleave is not good here because we are up against another one of these midwives and they obviously gain two strength when they are damaged. So that's fantastic, isn't it? That is really, really good. Okay, I suppose what I will have to do... Hmm. I will have to just attack. Oh, wow. That's really, really bad, actually. Yeah, I think I might actually even be dead here at this point. Gonna have to get rid of Cleave. That is basically pointless for me at the moment. I'm gonna try and see if I can heal myself a little bit. And then we'll use this again. We're gaining filth so much right now. And there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. This guy's gonna steal my- No, he's stealing metal scales! Oh, he actually stole metal scales. That is really, really bad. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I can do about this. I'm probably going to have to use Counterspell here. And I can just defend. Okay. I'm no longer weakened, so that is a pretty decent thing. But unfortunately, I think he can still get up. Does he, does he still have Lullaby on him? No, I don't think so, actually. Okay, so let's play this. And then that's going to uh, enable us to do this. Let's just do that. Fireball, that's pretty good. Let's defend. Okay, we're not taking too much damage, which I think is pretty good. Gonna get rid of heal right here. Yeah, I get it. I get it. She's powering herself up so much that I'm gonna take so much damage from this hit, but there's not much else I can do, unfortunately. Let's do a counter spell. She's gonna do nothing as a result of that. And as you can see, she is, of course, undying, so I need a fireball. I need a fireball to be... Oh, dear. She doesn't... <sighs> Yes, I'm not getting a fireball, apparently. But it does give me the opportunity to, I suppose, give myself um, a little bit of extra defense. And there's the fireball. Fantastic. Whew. Okay, now that's actually very tricky. That is a very, very tricky, um, tricky encounter right there. Okay, so greater transform. Transform two cards in your deck for the chamber's duration. Now, bear in mind that some of these cards and indeed items have charges. So they can be changed. As you can see right here, look at this. This stops working after the first two uses in that chamber. So in that particular combat encounter, it stops working in, 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 the, in that one time and place. But in the next one, then it will begin working again, but only until you've used it twice once again. So, in my opinion, that's really, really interesting because that definitely increases the amount of strategy, increases the amount of jeopardy that you're going to also have to face. Anyway, Greater Transform. Transform two cards in your deck for the chamber's duration. I think that sounds super fun. So, I'm actually going to do that. There we go. All right, so now we have the ability to teleport to the can Candle Sanctum. On each new floor, the goods of the traders are renewed. So I can basically go over there and uh, trade with someone, and then they can maybe sell us some stuff. And then we have the Ceramic Mask here, which is another item. Every three rounds, draw one additional card, but cannot see the health values during that round. <laughs> okay, sure, let's take it. Why not? Trinkets can make or break a run. Pay attention to the effects they have. They just told me that because they know that I took something that is really detrimental. What do you think? 
Yeah, probably. Let's go to the Sanctum and see exactly what happens here. Okay, so we could talk to this guy. He's obviously a healer. And we could talk to her, who is obviously a merchant. So let's talk to her. Always a pleasure serving the Royal Guards. Okay, hello there. Alright, so we have 28 gold. And I have the ability to do something. So let's have a look. What do I want to do? At the end of your turn, heal for the number of curse cards you have in your hand. Okay. Apply three vulnerable and three weaken. Also apply three recover. Oh god, no. That's way too much. Ah, uh, what about warm light? Received healing is increased by 50%. That sounds pretty good, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually thinking I'll take more metal scales. Because I want to try to improve the amount of um, damage that Sentient Blade actually does. That could be really, really fun. Okay, so ah, we can actually pay in health. Oh, I see. So he's not actually a healer. We pay in health. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, is there another Sentient Blade here? I don't think so. No. Right. Okay, well that might be problematic. I'm going to spend another five. You can actually remove one card for a little bit of uh, a little bit of gold and a little bit of um, health as well. So let's sell a card for gold. Let's sell something, shall we? So what do we want to sell? Well, probably nothing at this point. <laughs> Most of these are actually pretty good. At least I think so. Anyway, let's leave the merchant and we will descend into the next level. And now we have a curse. After clearing this chamber, ga gain a random debuff. Oh, uh, that's nice. Additional card choice. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm dead. What do you bet? I think I am probably dead. Let's kill the midwife as soon as possible, shall we? Stable random trinket. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. Don't really care about that too much. We could do cleave for seven damage. Uh, and that's basically it. I could do greater transform, actually. So let's do that. Let's select a card to transform. We're going to transform sentient blade. And we're going to transform one of the slashes into something. I have no idea what it's going to do, but hopefully it's going to be something fun. We're going to counterspell on the midwife as well. And then we're going to be using uh, probably metal scales because I want to heal myself a little bit. There we go. Wow, so much damage. Divine Spirit, heal for two da- Oh, okay, heal for two. Okay, sure, sure, sure. That sounds about right. Let's gain some block because I am going to be taking massive damage right here. And let's do another fireball on the midwife. Unfortunately, she is gaining so much from this that I think we are probably going to die. Okay, select a card to exhaust. Uh, heal. Greater Transform. I'm going to use this to stop her from attacking, hopefully. And then let's use another one of these. Gain some more. Gain some more block. And we'll use another one of these. And then we're going to transform... Ah, Defensive Stance. That's actually pretty good. That's not too bad. Let's transform one of the, uh, one of the scales right here. Okay, uh, defense modifies your block gain. I think that seems pretty good. So defensive stance is seemingly quite nice. I'm going to get rid of greater transform for this, part, for this point in the fight. And we're going to go for defensive stance right now. And then we're going to shuffle a couple of these. We gain three block now per time, which is super nice. Let's go for another damage, a little bit of damage against the midwife right here. But I'm taking so much damage from the mudlark because he is gaining strength every single time he attacks. Okay, that actually reflected against me, which is really good too. And we, could, of course, could not kill her. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yep. Super dead. Your corpses remain in the depths during your next run, and some of your items will be recoverable. So that's obviously the roguelike element of the game. So in my opinion, that seems extremely fun. I am very much looking forward to seeing what can be done with the game when it fully releases, but really... That is looking extremely interesting. And if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. And no, I wasn't sponsored to play this at all. I just saw it and thought, hey, you know what? This looks like something I would be into. And maybe you're going to be into it too. Um, but yeah, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.